Hey, what's up guys? So uh, it's been a minute since I posted a video, but what I will say is that the Inside Infinite came out on my birthday, which was yesterday, which hallelujah, that was amazing. I loved it. You know, like <laughs> to be able to know that potentially by next weekend, we could be playing Halo Infinite and get our hands on it is awesome. But one thing I definitely wanted to jump into here was uh, distinguishing, you know, what the flights are actually about because I, I saw a lot of people on Twitter yesterday pretty upset about the bots. I was like four players versus four bots. That's not a huge deal. Bottom line is, you know, they gave their reasons in Inside Infinite, but it's it's really just because of the fact that they have more work to do. So allow them to stress the servers and stress their game in the way that they see fit. And um, just be grateful for the fact that you can even play the game early, right? But that gets into my second point, which is this isn't just about playing the game early. Right, Halo Infinite has gone through quite a bit, right, in the, in the development cycle, as we know, and you know that's just life, right? You gotta you gotta roll with the punches, and I think in these final months, what's most important is that although maybe not a lot of changes could happen from a flight or from a beta, since it's so close to launch, post launch there's a lot of things that can happen, and what I want to recommend to you guys is you go into this flight once you get in which I'm sure many of you watching this will, if not all, you know, I think the first flight's gonna be massive. I think there's gonna be hundreds of thousands of people that get in. But, you know, I think bottom line is you just have to go into it with the mentality of, I'm here to provide value, right? I'm here to be someone that can actually help the devs understand how to better improve their experience that we are gonna receive in a couple months, right, or a few months. You, you can't just go into it. You can, but it's not going to be beneficial. And, you, you know, to just go in, make your videos, uh, play the game, and then that's that. Go to Halo Support. Reach out. You know, make sure you're reporting bugs that you see. Make sure that you're putting information out there that helps the devs understand in what areas is the game or the current build that you're playing lacking so that they can prove it in other areas. And that just does nothing but benefit everyone full circle right so when you get into it make sure you just go in there have a great time yeah you're playing infinite early that's incredible but make sure that you're doing things right and looking for things and tracking things and uh, bringing things to light that you experience that would be an issue at launch that can since it has the opportunity now to be tracked and then adjusted over time so that whether it's at launch when it's fixed <coughs> or if it's post launch um, they have the ability to do that. So uh, just understand what these flights are actually for. It's not just so that you could play it early, it's so that they can actually recover data, stress the systems, and receive feedback on, on little bugs and issues that may be in the game. Uh, just make sure that you have that perspective and you are someone of value so that we can get a really polished product when Infinite launches. All right, I'll see you guys on the next video and hopefully in the flights. Peace.